Hi, I'm Annalisa Hunter and I'm the pastor here at Bridges Church in downtown La Crosse. Thanks for joining us today to talk about do-it-yourself Advent wreaths or Advent candle sets to do at home. We're not going to be physically present this year for our normal Advent and Christmas season worship services, but we can still light candles to remember the light that Jesus brings into the world. Now here at church, this is the Advent set that we used last year and this year. We also have a really big one that has been used in the past and hopefully next year we can use that again. All of this is a way that we have a routine, we have a ritual that brings us closer to God and closer to our neighbors this time of year. So let's make Advent candles for home when we are watching our videos of our church services or if we're on Zoom together during our live watch parties. We can make Advent candles for our homes very easily. We can light a candle every week during worship. We can light the wreath at mealtimes or during daily devotions and prayer. We can light a candle when we are in video calls with friends and family. And we can light a candle when we just want to sit in the presence of God. So there's three items we really need for this. We need candle holders, candles, and something to bring light to the candles. And then there's a fourth item that is optional, and that would be some signs. So the first item is something to hold the candles. This can be a wide variety of things, and I don't want you to have to go out and buy stuff um, unless you really want to for this project. So you can use jars or glasses. Um, you can use a can that's been washed out. Um, you can put some sand or mulch or rocks inside there to hold the candle steady. You can use any types of candles you like, tea lights, pillar candles, tapers, whatever you've got around the house. Now some people prefer battery candles or they're living someplace uh, in an apartment or something where they need to have battery candles instead of live candles and that works fine too. You can have candlesticks for traditional taper candles. Uh, they don't have to all match. You can mix and match and put all sorts of things together. You could also just use a mirror or a plate, um, a cutting board, uh, something steady on the bottom to set the candles on to catch any wax. So the second item on the candles, pick what works for you and pick what fits with the holders that you have put together as well. Now the third item is you need to have matches or the clicker sticks, I call them. Uh, that you can light your candles with, or you need to have batteries if you've gone with the battery version for this. Now the optional thing, and it's not required, is to have some signs. Traditionally, the four candles of Advent are candles for hope, love, joy, and peace. And as we go through our weekly worship services this month, you will see in our prayers each week, we're going to be focusing on each of those. So this first week, will be the candle of hope that is lit. Now some people like to do something uh, to indicate which candle is which. Several years ago when I was walking through Walmart or Hobby Lobby, I found a beautiful little set of votive candles that had mirror glaze on the inside and frosted color on the outside. And they said, hope, love, joy, peace. And uh, so that was a great little set that I got really cheap that we have used in our home. Uh, you can write them out on sheets of paper. You can print them out of your printer. You can just lay them flat underneath your candles. You can use little pins to stick them to the sides of your candles. If you have some jute or ribbon or string, you can tie them around your candles or you can tie all the candles in a big bundle. Feel free to put any decorations on that you'd like. Maybe you have a little holly or a little greenery or some ornaments that you can tuck around. The, Final note that I'd like to say is that this doesn't have to be a round thing. Here we have a round wreath and at churches it's usually round, but you can just have your candles in a row on a tray on the table. Be creative. Um, this is a time to let the Holy Spirit just flow through you and come up with something that just brings God's presence into your home. Something that will be fun for you and your family or you and your friends to remember the season of anticipation of waiting as we remember that Jesus has come and that Jesus will come again. Have fun with this. I use a variety of textures and decorations and colors to just make this a lovely 
peace in your life during this December season where you remember the sacred nature of this time of the year. And I hope all of you feel God's hope, love, joy, and peace this season as you celebrate each week that goes by with your Advent candles. Have fun.